At one point in your life, you probably heard people saying that everything in life is free. Well guys, if you're probably someone who has no debt, no utilities to pay, and a fridge full of stocks, this may sound true. However, in this day and age, money is essential. You need money to go to school, you need money to pay your bills, and you need money to feed yourself. That's why saying everything in life is free is one of the biggest money lies that people have believed over the years. Today in this video, we're going to uncover this money lie and a lot more. So if you want to know if you've been believing in a lie for a very long time, make sure to keep watching until the very end of this video. Welcome to the Next Level Investors YouTube channel. In this video, we'll teach you tips and tricks to help you make money online. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we upload a new video. Please like this video and leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. Believe it or not, there are some money lies we've been led to believe for a very long time. If your goal is to become wealthy, it is important to know what these money lies are because they are the major reason why you're not moving forward in your life. But no need to worry guys because we will share with you 3 money lies that you must stop believing. Money lie number 1. Money doesn't make you happy. The adage that the best things in life are free and that money doesn't buy you happiness is widely accepted. Well, this is a blatant lie, to put it frankly. In our lives, we have experienced both moments of financial abundance and times when we were in a bind. And to tell you the truth, the latter easily defeats the former. You see, there are two main ways which the idea that money doesn't make you happy is spread. First off, there's no need for people to feel awful if you're not quite keeping up with the Warren Buffett right now. Obviously, we don't want anyone to feel down, but occasionally we require a wake-up call to motivate us and this is completely okay as long as the constructive criticism you get is communicated in a respectful way. In actuality, whenever your rich friends and family advise you on how important it is to take control of your finances, they only do so because they want you to reap the rewards of their recent increases in wealth and income. People disseminate the idea that you don't need money to be happy because they don't want you to be a competitor. Which brings us to our second argument, and as you are aware, whether you like it or not, one of the key markers of your position and total prosperity in today's society is how much money you have. Because of this, whenever you go to a networking or dating event, people always ask you, what do you do for a living? Which is just basically asking you the question of how much money you make in disguise. This is so because having money is such a clear-cut indicator of success. Knowing your position among your peers is simple. Now you might think that your surroundings affluence has no bearing on you. However, research suggests that your happiness may actually be impacted by the income of your neighbor down the street. Regardless of how much money they were actually making, a 2010 study from the universities of Warwick and Cardiff found that for people to be happy, they had to believe they were better off financially than their friends and co-workers. Now, while we can't speak for everyone on this subject, we can provide our own perspective on how some people's levels of happiness have been impacted by earning and having more money. People have become happy in the first place by becoming more confident about their financial situation. People feel as though they have more worth to provide and feel that they have a higher opportunity to create income outside of traditional ways now that they have built many web enterprises and are continuing to advance in their careers. In other words, these people can overcome financial difficulties thanks to the collection of abilities they've been able to develop over time. The next advantage of having more money than wealthy people have enjoyed is not having to worry. Having a solid financial situation has been extremely beneficial to these people's mental health, and that alone is a worthwhile investment of their time in improving their financial situation. Finally, consider what people enjoy doing with their money the most. They make good use of it. We'll be the first to tell you that if you want to get ahead financially, you need to spend wisely. The truth is that it feels great to spend money. It feels good to spend money on yourself. And it feels even better to spend money on others. Whether we like it or not, most of us will be working for the foreseeable future. What distinguishes some of us from the rest is whether all the time will translate into enough money, some of which can be enjoyed, or if those earnings will be barely enough to get by when you earn more money, thus have more money. When you have a low income, you can at least enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's all going to be work and no play. We're pretty sure that having more money means less to some people than it does to others. It really depends on your goals in life and how materialistic you are. To round out this first money lie, we will say that the benefits of earning more money are worthwhile. Yes, money can make you happy if used correctly. 
Now before we continue, if you've been enjoying this video so far as well as enjoying all the other content we have for you on this channel, don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want more money making strategies that you can do online for free. We do our best every day to provide you with the latest methods and ways to earn money online without having to spend anything out of your own pocket. Anyway, let's continue with the video. Money lie number two. There is no such thing as passive income. We've been trying to figure out why there's so much skepticism about earning passive income for a while now. And we think it comes down to two main reasons. The first is that most people have never earned a single dollar of passive income and as a result cannot verify its existence. Most people follow the path of going to school, getting good grades, getting a job, and clocking in to earn a living. There is nothing passive about the process. As a result, most people have never reaped the benefits of passive income. Another issue that people have when it comes to passive income is how it is defined. Most people believe that earning passive income entails making money with no inputs. This however is not the case. There is always an input of resources involved when earning passive income, whether it's time, money, or both. For example, if you start a blog and write 100 articles, you put in a lot of time and effort. You may be wondering how do you know passive income is real? We know this because we earn it on this YouTube channel every day. That means we're earning money while we eat, sleep, and even take our morning walks. You can control your level of effort and investment in your passive income model once you have a system in place. For example, if you have an active YouTube channel, you can do everything yourself or outsource parts of all the work depending on how much time and money you want to invest. If you still don't believe us when we say that passive income exists, we want you to open your banking app and look at the funds in your checking or savings account. After that, examine the interest earned on your money over the last year. That, my friends, is passive income. You didn't have to work to earn that interest income, but you did have to deposit the money to earn it. Don't believe the money lie that passive income doesn't exist because we've proven that it does exist and you're probably just earning it right now. Money lie number three, long-term investing will make you rich. You constantly hear that if you want to get rich, you must save money and invest for the long term. We have bad news for you guys. This is a deliberate lie. To be clear, you should absolutely invest your money and just because we're here, sharing a hot take on investing doesn't mean you should avoid it like the plague. Long-term investing, on the other hand, is not an ideal approach to take as a primary means of wealth creation, and we'll explain why. Assume your goal is to become a millionaire and after plugging some numbers into your compound interest calculator, you discover that you'll need to invest $900 per month for the next 30 years at a 7% rate of return to get there. That sounds fantastic. Make sure not to put all of your eggs in the long-term investing basket. You're thankfully realizing this harsh reality now, rather than 30 years from now, so consider yourself fortunate. However, the unfortunate reality raises another question. What is the solution? Long-term investing as demonstrated by the example can increase your wealth, but it should not be your primary source of wealth creation. In conjunction with investing, you should aim to maximize your income. As you might expect, investing $5,000 per month instead of $900 per month increases your chances of becoming a millionaire significantly. So how do you increase your earnings? Simply put, by adding more value. Adding more value in today's world can be accomplished by educating or entertaining a large number of people, or by offering a unique and valuable skill set to the open market. Now this is precisely why many YouTubers earn exorbitant sums of money. That is because they provide something valuable and allow it to spread far and wide. As a result, when you have something of value to offer, the sky is truly the limit outside of online businesses. Another example is in the medical field. And as evidence of why specialized doctors are so well compensated, they provide a vital service to the public. Given the scarcity of their skill set, they can command very high pay rates for their time worked. As a result, you want your money to work for you by investing. However, this does not imply that you should solely rely on long-term investigating to generate wealth. Rather, you should combine investing with ongoing income growth. When these two come together, you'll be able to achieve all of your wildest health goals and in essence, that is all you need to know to begin growing your wealth. Guys, for centuries, many successful and wealthy people have avoided these three money lies. It is now your responsibility to steer clear of these lies and join the ranks of the likes of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett right now. And that's it for today's video. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the next level investors, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. As always, if you have any concerns or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for sticking around guys and I'll see you in the next video.